Today, we're gonna to talk about Photoshop ethics. Photoshop is a very advanced raster image editing software. It has the power to manipulate pixels in an image to add or subtract objects or change the appearance of an object. When you think of Photoshop, you probably think of agencies editing male and female models to achieve the perfect body. This could include inflating muscles, taking out blemishes on the skin, or even changing faces and eye shape. When we see an image of someone on any form of advertising, we have to keep in mind that we are actually witnessing a highly edited person. How does this body manipulation affect our culture? Is it ethical? Why or why not? You're probably thinking to yourself that this Photoshop manipulation is a recent ethical issue. Well, it's not. In fact, people have been editing images since the mid 1800s. Of course, Photoshop didn't exist back then, but instead, photographers use chemicals in the darkroom to manipulate images. So let's take a look at some examples and determine if these changes are ethical or not ethical. This is a photograph taken during the Civil War in 1864. As you can see, General Grant is on horseback in front of his troops in City Point, Virginia. A great photograph, right? Well, too bad it's actually doctored. That's right, this image is actually a combination of three separate images. The photographer took General Grant's head and put it on the man on horseback. The horseback rider was then placed on the backdrop of the troops in Virginia. So let's take another look at the final product. Let's fast forward to World War II. This is a photograph of Italian dictator Mussolini taken in 1942. Mussolini was always conscious about his image and was obsessed with being portrayed as a fearless ruler. But in real life, he wasn't even able to ride a horse. As you can see in the original photograph, he needed a horse handler to pose for this photo. The handler was swiftly edited out of the picture. This is a photograph taken during the same war. This image shows the burning of Berlin and Russian soldiers raising a flag. If you look closely, the man has no wristwatch. If we take a look at the original photograph, he is wearing something that looks like a watch or compass. In fact, he has a watch on both wrists. Before publishing this original photograph in a Russian magazine, the editor-in-chief requested that the watch or compass be removed from the image in fear that it would be interpreted as Soviet soldiers looting during a time of war. And that would not be good publicity. So ask yourself, when is it ever okay to manipulate a photograph? Try to think of some scenarios. What are some unethical ways to manipulate a photograph? And what are their consequences? Lastly, let's take a look at Justin Bieber. The photograph on the left is the edited version, and the one on the right is the original. See the difference? As you learn how to use Photoshop, keep in mind that you have the power to use your skills for ethical and unethical purposes. I hope you learned about the ethics of Photoshop and I hope you use your power for good.